Greetings and welcome to another edition of Odin Wright's Shit. Today I have for you an assortment of architect inks. Now I'm not sure what the story is with these because I got them super cheap, full bottles for like six bucks at xfountainpens.com, and their Chesterfields is also on sale as well. So I'm not sure if they're like discontinuing these or closing them out. These are architects are the Dea Tremendist. I'm not. I'm also not 100% sure what the deal is with them, with these because these aren't. I'm not sure if they are Dea Tremendus or if they aren't Dea Tremendus or if they're just some random company that they're like, hey, here's some of our bottles. Feel free to bottle your own ink and stuff. So I don't know, but they were super cheap and there were a couple of fragrances left that I wanted to try because these are the scented ones. Um, not sure if there's any left actually by the time I post this, so yeah. Um, I got the Herbs a la Roma, which I have no idea what the Herbs a la Roma is. I've got green tea. Actually, I was stupid, and I got two bottles of green tea because I didn't pay attention to my cart. And I thought I was buying licorice, but then again, I decided not to get licorice because licorice to me is gross. So I have another bottle that I'm going to save one for a giveaway at the end of the year or something like that. And I have nougat. As well as pink, which is not scented. Because, yes. Now, I already know that I don't really enjoy the Day Atramentus inks, scented inks, as much because the scent really doesn't last that long, for one. And usually their scents are just way off. My favorite scented ones are the J. Herbon, which I still have to get the rest of the fragrances, but I have this violet. That holy crap, that thing smells like violet, and it still stays like violet, so... Yes, if you're looking for a scented ink, I would try the J. Herbon ones, because I don't... Well, yeah. But anyways, before I go off into more of a tangent pile of poo, let's get started! First is the Herbs a Aroma, which I should probably look up what actually that is, but... It smells... Sage and rosemary is what I'm getting mostly. And then just like regular fountain pen ink. The, the ones that smell like they're made from natural ingredients instead of like, you know, chemicals. But, yes. Next up we have green tea, which does not smell like green tea, which is kind of ironic. It smells- I have-, I have this one's very, very familiar to me, but... It smells like a green apple essential oil that I had, and like, made some handmade bath salts. And by handmade, I mean I took some Epsom salts and stuck some oil in it and called it bath salts. And I think I put food coloring in them too, but... It smells like that fragrance was something a little peppery. Definitely, definitely not what I'd associate with green tea, but cheers. Next up we have Nougat, which is pretty amazing. I'm shocked. I love the smell of this one. Oh my goodness, this one smells exactly like you'd expect it. Mmm, sugary sweet, and it kind of smells a lot similar to my Tsum Tsum Lip Smackers, which is in the flavor of Marshmallow Pop. Or it would be if you could read it. Marshmallow Pop. Oh my goodness, this one's magical. It smells delicious. Finally, we have pink, which is not a smelly pink, although I'm not sure. What? Huh. No, it's got a little chemical smell to it. It's, it's very strange. But this one... So that is 
what we have. These delightful colors. The greens are actually kind of nice. Um, I personally am not a big Diatrometis uh, fan in terms of like similar price points. I tend to like Diamine better. Um, that being said, the nougat is very pretty. It's kind of got like a red-toned brown. Uh, the herbs all aroma I like better than the green tea. The green tea is kind of a little bit flatter. Kind of like a flatter version of the Organic Studios um, Gregor Mandel. And yeah, I, I do enjoy that one a lot. The Architect Pink is actually pretty much a quintessential highlighter color, which is kind of cool. I kind of want to try filling a preppy uh, marker with it to see what it does, but not a lot of shading going on with that, which is kind of inter which I kind of find interesting. Um, these two have a little bit of a shading going on. I'll bring you closer. You can kind of see in this general area we got some shading, and in there. And in there. And then we have shitty paper. Yes. Um. When it behave well. Mm. These ones kind of feather a bit on the uh, dip pen area, but I have found that it does perform a little bit better with a dip pen. And on the back. Hmm. In the light writing, we have a little bit more bleed through that I'm comfortable with. I don't know, I might, I might not use that for a highlighter. But, let's see. The greens are okay in terms of double-sided writing. And, yeah. Ah, and there. These ones are kind of meh to me, guys. <laughs> Sad to say. I, I just got them because they were on sale and they're very good for staples. And I like smelly things, so I like the experience of smelly things. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm, I'm still very curious about the highlighter ink and stuff. So I might do a blog post or something about the highlighter ink once I get something emptied to fill up. So, without further ado, let's try the water test if I have a clean brush. Boop. Oh, that's not too bad. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, kind of expected that one. Hmm. These ones aren't that bad. I mean, granted, the pink doesn't have a lot of pigment to lose in the first place, but it's, it's, yeah. That's holding up a little bit. Shit. The herbs all aroma though. Wow, that's that's pretty uh pretty sturdy there. Not waterproof, I'd say, but if you get a juicy pen, you can probably salvage what you write. Not bad. That one is totaled. That one, I'd, I'd say, I'd say in between these two, this one is okay. Interesting, interesting. I, I kind of like that pink. I'm kind of glad I got that one actually. It's kind of something fun to play with. So yes, I think that'll do it for this episode of Odin Red Shit. Have you guys tried the Architect series? Can anybody clarify what the Architects mean in terms of their relationship with Dea Tremendous and stuff like that? Because I'm not sure. that And Chesterfield, because I'm hearing that they're from Diamine, actually, or something. I don't know. Anyway, if you can clear that up, that would be totally rad. If not, hey, we'll both wonder together. So anyway... That'll do it from me. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time. And yes, so that's the story with that one. And I have nougat. Wah.